Great, uh, we'll go ahead and get started. So uh, thanks to everybody for joining the quality team um, functional group update. Uh, this is the possible agenda items for today. Uh, we'll go through the list and then we'll end up with questions at the end. Uh, first of all, team updates. We have made one hire. An offer has uh, been accepted. Uh, senior automation engineer. Uh, he's starting on June 18th. He's also part of the Selenium web driver uh, project, which I'm very excited about. Um, we can have more uh, Selenium um, contributors and get some um, uh, leeway there as well. We have a strong pipeline. We are interviewing four more um, in the pipeline. Um, Christian has moved over to the Gidley team, and Robert now um, taking on uh, the release coordination. Uh, role, uh, he is still spending 20% um, of the time on quality. Uh, I just want to call out the uh, releases. Um, uh, we merged uh, a smaller amount of MRs uh, when compared to 10.8. Um, I'm still investigating why uh, this is the cost, um, but uh, the number went down. The, the next item on the list is um, the 11.0 release will be one of the most critical releases for us. Um, there are many, many things coming in at the same time. I wanted to call this out. I think the team is doing a good job, great job um, keeping production up. But in addition to that, we have 350 MRs alone for RC1. Um, this is the biggest I've seen so far uh, since my time here. Um, the GC migration is happening. Moving to GitLab is also happening as well, and um, the performance in production. So um, keep your eyes peeled. Um, this is uh, one of the critical moments for us um, and, and the release. Uh, accomplishments um, from our side. Um, uh, the QA task is now a bird's eye view for everything that's going on to release. We tried this out in 10.8. We're doing this again in 11.0. It's still not ideal um, and it will not scale. Um, uh, you, I'll touch on this in the future. I'll follow, by, uh, follow up items um, later in the next slides. Um, the next is we start embedding quality teams with new features and test planning process. So we are able to uh, do GDPR, TCP migration, and SAML. We still have a lot to do, but um, we're starting to embed more people more, um, and more test planning early in the game and not towards the end. Uh, we also, uh, thanks to Jenshin, we have a Haml render helper um, to help with um, separating concerns for CE and EE code. Um, that's in the, the, that is in the Haml file. And we have CI jobs to check for EE and CE code um, organization for files and location. Um, Last on the list, so quarter two, uh, 2018 issue bash uh, happened uh, last weekend, um, thanks to Mark. Uh, we're still determining the winners for that. Things that are in progress. Um, so the completion of um, uh, EE and CE files, um, uh, we're tracking in this epic. Um, this is roughly 55% uh, done. I think we are almost done with files. Next up is Haml and, and, L and location of files. We're still working closely with other teams for this. I'll touch this on in the next slides as well. The next item, this is also related to our OKR um, to deliver the first uh, iteration of dashboard. So we've been blocked on the Looker ETL access, um, but uh, we, were, uh, con we are now um, uh, looking at to um, any backup plan because we have a V1, V1 prototype already up and running. Um, release process improvements. So we have automated the, the QA um, task list um, in the, in, in, for the release, thanks to Mark. This is used in 11.0 uh, RC1, and you see all the, uh, all the labels and all the um, uh, names, and also the MR, uh, the names of the uh, merge requests listed now instead of a, a, of a SHA. And we will continue to iterate on this for, for the rest of the, uh, for all the RC QAs. We're also looking to the barrier in, the checking, in checking out the QA tasks. Um, you can click on the discussion issues there. Uh, we want to try to make this as easy as possible and figure out a, a better way to, to solve this, because this will, will not scale, um, given that we have 350 items in RC1, um, and that list may grow faster uh, if, we, if we continue to ship things at, at the speed we are. Um, the GCP migration fail rehearsal. So just a reminder, this happens every Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, 1,300 to 1,500 hours to TC. Uh, we're coordinating the QA uh, task, and we continue to close out the test automation gaps. Uh, thanks to Remy for that. Um, the last item that we are working on, uh, we are doing the CE and EE issue triage rotation. Um, currently, it's only on Mark. It's handling all the load right now. We want to fan this out to the rest of the, the team um, in the future. Right now, we are doing rotations in, in our team alone, and we are also automating a triage helper that will automatically um, ping um, respective really, uh, engineering managers and, and product managers uh, when, when they are um, on the right labels. 
uh, the roadmap for the team. So um, as I said before, the QA tasks will, will not scale and they will never scale. So we want to enable teams to validate um, faster before changes hit master. So um, going forward, we will want to start, we want to implement review apps for CE and EE. So in the future, when you check off a QA task, this should happen in your feature branch in your review apps environment and not in master. Um, things that come in master should be working um, and we should move, we should shift left and then uh, test faster. We also want to run uh, the automated regress regressions against review app review apps or feature branch environments. Currently, it is optional right now, um, but we're looking to make this mandatory for every uh, merge request that comes into master. And we continue to show up the test automation gaps um, and good luck QA. Um, the, the tracking is in this issue, so you're free to uh, click and check it out. Uh, we also want to make test planning part of feature planning because um, uh, we need to ship integration and end-to-end -end tests. Uh, we need to ship the whole test pyramid with a feature if you want to move to true CD and remove all this manual checking and unstaging and all this ceremony um, um, going forward. Last but not least, um, as I said before, we want to uh, fan out triaging issues, um, not only issue issues, but merge requests as well to the whole team. So we're we are considering uh, embedding this in the reaction rotation that Tommy has, has proposed or maybe a weekly task for the team, but these are still the discussions going on. Um, please feel free to uh, weigh in your um, uh, discussions um, if you're interested. Uh, challenges. So um, currently quality is down to 3.5 person and we're still taking on a lot. We're doing all that we can right now and we and the, the, the way to fix this we need to meet or exceed our hiring targets. Um, the quality and test automation is currently not involved in our future planning. Um, this will be uh, better as we um, exceed or meet our hiring targets so we can allocate more uh, test automation engineers for a, a feature team. But that's um, uh, way down the, the, the roadmap, but we, we need to make our hires first. Uh, so the EE and code organization, um, the quality team has the big picture, but we're not experts in the back end or front end area. So we still need to work closely with the uh, um, front end and back end engineers to close this out. Thank you for everybody that has contributed and, and helping, helping us out. Uh, the last on the list. Um, so we are reverting to our uh, V1 prototype. Um, in, while waiting for the ETL Luca dashboards. Uh, this is built on Chart CS. Um, uh, and that's, we have a good feeling that we can finish this um, by within, within Q2. Uh, questions. Um, John, I see you have one. Um, are these best practices that we believe should be done for customers? Could we make it part of our auto DevOps? Uh, are you talking about embedding quality teams um, in feature teams, uh, which, which which part of the? I, I was talking about the um, ability to do the um, doing the review apps, right? That you mentioned. And could we just sort of make that a standard part of our DevOps auto DevOps process that it, that we spin up a, a review branch as part of auto DevOps and and have customers test in a similar fashion to help them shift left. Yes, definitely. So these are called feature environments in other uh, namesake in other companies. So um, yes, I, I, I believe so, because uh, before, before things get into master, like the, 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 the um, true CD world, uh, you need to make sure everything is green. Like master should always be green and testing before master is, is always um, a good practice. So yes. Uh, Paul, uh, do you look at support uh, tickets as a quality metric? Um, no, we currently not. That is, um, uh, we're collaborating with the support team um, for, for any support requests, but uh, currently we do not. Uh, do you have any suggestions there that would you like to give us or any concerns that you've seen in the support? Uh, no, I'm, I'm just wondering in, in best practices from a quality perspective, you know, typically we see quality issues will result in support tickets. So I was wondering if we look at trended data or anything like that to get a gauge on whether quality is getting better or worse. Great question. So we are, we are doing that for not for the support tickets, but for our issue tracker. And we, that's the dashboard that I mentioned earlier. So we are, we want to track that correlating with the support ticket is definitely something that um, uh, I think would be great that we could do. Um, I'll, I'll do a reach out to, to the support team to see if we can, um, is there anything we can do there to help um, looking at the, the support tickets, but we've seen a trend of, um, so the numbers may, may trick us. We've seen a trend of, um, five support tickets um, duplicating one issue tracker ticket. So looking at the numbers alone might not be the truth. 
um, in, the, in the numbers of what you're seeing because um, it may be reported for multiple um, customers, but uh, it's just it boils down to just one issue in our in our um, bug tracker. So just a heads up that that's that um, that's a condition there. Um, anybody else? Um, okay, great. I'll, I'll give it uh, five more seconds and then I will end the call and give uh, uh, 20 minutes back to everybody. Great. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next FGU. Thank you so much.